It's now time for Remember When with Uncle John. John Guess, Washita County's resident storyteller and local historian. Sit back now and enjoy a walk down memory lane as John recalls the days of yesteryear in his own unique way. You never know, some of it might even be true. So here's Uncle John, along with his trusty sidekick, Kelly Blair. Back on Remember When with Uncle John. Well, here we are off and running on a brand new week again. Great thing about this show, though, we have still got our same great sponsors, including Sherwin-Williams House Paint, 315 Jefferson Street, right there in downtown Camden, 836 836- 8125 is the number you want to call when you want to start up one of those new home projects because if it involves paint, Greg Bradshaw and his staff could probably point you in the right direction. Think of something you need you you hadn't quite thought of just yet. Absolutely, and we got uh, ProMed Ambulance. Give those fine folks a call at 1-800-634-0436. Serving Randolph, Lawrence, Ashley, Union, Dallas, and Calhoun County. Get signed up on their Priority Membership Ambulance Care Program. Tell them Uncle John and Kelly sent you. Absolutely, because it's better to have them and not need them. Than need them and not have them. Well, John, and our last great sponsor we want to talk about is the Prescott Raceway. And you got a little insight on the Prescott Raceway. I understand you went and partook of the races just the other day. Oh, man, I went up Friday night with my good friends, uh, the Elliott family from over at Elliott Alignment. Uh, David and Jason, Kristen, and their two sons, and, and uh, Kristen's uh, parents were there. Went over to the Test in Tune Friday night. Uh, my good friend David Elliott had a chicken house fan about the size of a uh, helicopter. And I'm telling you, uh, had a nice generator running over there. And I'm telling you, I never broke a sweat. It <laughs> just stayed cool the entire time. As hot as it was Friday, I'm telling you, it was pleasant. We sat there under them big oak trees. Uh, had us a cool bottle of water, you know. And I'm telling you, uh, we... we done some bench racing and, and talked about old times and uh, talked about all our friends and family and them them young boys had a big time running around there i'm telling you it's a great atmosphere over there jackie lewis has got it going on of course they had a big race over there saturday i didn't go to that a little bit hot gates opened at three i had business elsewhere i understand but uh, we had a great time over there friday night i'm telling you uh it's a good atmosphere now I, i've been going and, and this is a little unknown fact a lot of folks might not know, but uh, when that track opened the second Monday, the second second Sunday in March of 1977, my good friend Randy Stennett and I were the very first two paying customers. Wow, look at there. Uh, it was supposed to open the first Sunday in March. It rained them out that Sunday. <laughs> They're off to a great start. But we were there at 7 o'clock in the morning, and we were there at 7 o'clock in the morning the next Sunday morning. We were the first two paying customers. They took a Polaroid picture of us, and for years it hung in the uh, in the uh, tower there. Now, I have talked to several people. I don't know what happened to it, but we were the very first two paying customers. The first three or four years before they put lights up, they ran strictly on Sundays. Okay. And we didn't miss a Sunday. We, didn't nev- we never missed a Sunday. That was just automatic. It was automatic. If it rained them out, now we went and done something else. But we, when they were racing, we were there. And, and I'm telling you, in those days, of course, you know, times were different. Engines were different. Cars were different. Everything was different. You didn't have computers back then. You didn't have rev limiters. You didn't have LS engines. You didn't have all the stuff they got now. They were all old, stu- uh, old school, old style hot rods. There you go. And you know we had thousands of pictures, and over the years, you know that they've gotten, they've gotten, we've lost them. You know they've gotten faded. Ruined. You know, yeah. But I'm telling you, in those days, it was a it was a uh, wild west shoot 'em up atmosphere. I'll never forget there was an old station wagon from over at Warren called the War Wagon. They brought it in the back of a school bus, had the back of the school bus cut out, drove it up in the school bus. You could follow them down the highway. And when they would hit a bump, the thing would, you know, it would move back and forth. You know? <laughs> but, I mean, it was, it was, it's still a great atmosphere. Jack, you know, it's a different time. It's a different era. Things are different. Cars run different. You got technology now you didn't have in 1977. But it's a great atmosphere. It's a great family atmosphere. Like I said, uh, uh, Jason Elliott had his two boys over there, and it was better to them than being at the zoo. 
Absolutely. You know, you know I've told this before, too. The general manager here at uh, Radio Work, Stormy, she took her two grandkids over there, uh, you know, about this time last year, I think it was. It was coming out of uh, COVID. They were looking for something to do, you know, and they said they absolutely had a ball. Her and her husband and the grandkids, just, you know, thrills a minute for them. Absolutely. I recommend it to anybody, especially if you got kids. Uh, you know, load them up, get you some hot dogs, get you some marshmallows. Go over there. They got a great concession stand, though. Uh, they got anything you need over there, but it's a great family atmosphere. I highly recommend it to anybody that's got kids that's looking for something to do on Friday or Saturday night. Absolutely. It is at 5121 Highway 53 East. Everybody's seen it as you're going into Prescott's right over there to the right. You can check out their schedule at prescottraceway.net. Uh, you can call them at 887-0336, or, of course, you can find them on Facebook. Or you could just keep tuning in to Remember When with Uncle John because we're going to keep you updated on them. They are one of our great fine sponsors. And if you're in Magnolia, stop by the Napa store and see Jackie Lewis down there. Absolutely. Tell him Kelly and remember uh, and Uncle John from the Remember When with Uncle John show sent you. See you tomorrow, Kelly. You've been listening to Remember When with Uncle John on Y95. This broadcast can be heard each weekday morning at 645 on South Arkansas's favorite station, Y95.